Hey guys, so today is the day that you've all been waiting for, I'm sure. Today is the day I'm revealing my dog's DNA tests. I finally spent all the money and got my dog's DNA tested. This is not sponsored. I spent all the money myself and it was a lot. I have three dogs and it was like 70 or 80 bucks for each test. So yeah, I spent all of $240 myself but I will leave the link to what I use below in case you want to do it and if you have done this and feel free to let me know what your dog is because I think it's so interesting when you actually get them tested because they want, can look like one thing and be another and anyway let's get into it so we're gonna start off by going from like least surprising and interesting to most surprising and interesting. I'm gonna give a little bit of a backstory for each of my dogs. I used to have a video up all about my dogs, but I am chunky and I didn't like how I looked in it, so I took it down. So that's not up anymore, so you wouldn't know. So I'm gonna tell you. So the first dog that I got tested is my dog, Zoe. She is like, nine years old now and she has been through quite a lot. She was attacked a couple years ago at my old apartments and she went through surgery and it was a whole ordeal but she's fine now but she has been kind of aging kind of quick getting really great really fast and she's a mutt. I got all of my dogs from rescues, I will never ever ever shop for a dog. There are so many dogs in shelters that need homes, so if you're looking for a dog, I really really suggest that you go to a rescue. Even if you want a specific dog, there are specific breed rescues all over. One of my friends just got a Great Pyrenees and she got it from the Great Pyrenees Rescue and I think her dog came from like Texas or something like that, so a lot of the time they most definitely can travel or like transfer the dog over to another state or whatever. So always look around and try to find a dog like that. So anyway, I got Zoe as a puppy from Watermelon Mountain Ranch in New Mexico. A couple months earlier, my other dog had passed and we went to this rescue and my dad actually ended up getting a dog before me even though he was really hesitant on even wanting to get another dog in the first place. But someone else had already wanted that dog that he wanted so he ended up getting it, long story short, but he couldn't get it that second. And I wanted a black dog specifically just because somewhere, I'm pretty sure that this is a thing, I read that black dogs do not get adopted as often, especially large black dogs, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to adopt a large black dog, so we went all over town looking at different dogs, different places, and we finally went to this PetSmart like way, way far where they were doing like a setup with the rescue and I saw her and she had been there so long and I was like, you know what, no one else wants her, I want her. So I took her home and named her Zoe. Her original name was Willow, but I thought that was very sad. She had gotten to the rescue because someone had stuffed her in a bag and shoved her under the rescue's trailer. So I thought that was too sad for her and I said, no, 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 no. I'm gonna rename her Zoe. I think, truth be told, this is so embarrassing, but I think I really loved Zoe 101 at the time. I don't even think I've told my boyfriend this because it's embarrassing and he doesn't watch my videos, so. So I named her Zoe. Pretty much always thought she was a lab mix. I didn't think that she had like any weird like breeds that you really couldn't see in her. So for her DNA test, I will finally get to the point. I'm so sorry, this video is gonna be so long. So she ended up 25% German Shepherd Dog, 25% Labrador Retriever, 12.5% Chow Chow, and 37.5% Mixed Breed Groups, Hound, Terrier, Asian, Herding, and Sporting. So I, I had suspected that she was going to be a lab German Shepherd just because the other day I saw an all black German Shepherd and I was like, just cause like, I know dogs come in like all different colors but when you think of a German Shepherd you think of like that distinct like you know like light brown and then then the black not just like all black but and I was not super surprised to learn that she was a chow I kind of suspected that as well because of like the extra fluffiness that she has and my dog before her was a chow chow so I kind of like saw it I think I gravitate towards like big fluffy black dogs 
I don't know. But I was surprised to learn that she's no more lab than she is German Shepherd. I thought that was so weird because I've always just said, oh, she's a lab, she's a lab, and she looks like a lab. But I guess now she's like also just as much of a German Shepherd. So I don't really know how to feel about that. I'm just gonna tell people she's a lab German Shepherd now when they ask. I think it's gonna be so fun to actually be able to tell people like what she is when we're out and about just because I take my dogs literally everywhere that I can. I'm out with them all the time. So if whenever people are actually like, oh, what kind of dog is she? I can give them like a very specific answer. And if you have like a mutt or like a really mixed dog, you can probably relate with that. Everyone's always like, what kind of dog is that? And now I can be like, oh, one moment. So that is my baby Zoe's DNA results. My eyes are watering. I'm wearing so much makeup today. Not that I don't already wear a lot of makeup, but like this is a lot of makeup today. So next I will do the results for Appa. He is my little itty bitty German Shepherd. Me and David got him almost two years ago. At this point he's like two years and some months old. But we also got him from a rescue. The rescue's no longer in, not business, but they're no longer up. So I don't want to say their name because it doesn't matter. But I actually really got him for David. We weren't even really meaning to get a dog when we got him. We'd kind of like thrown up the idea, but we weren't in our own place yet. We were back living with my mom for a couple months to save some money. We already had two dogs there, so, and they had zero dogs before we went there. So I was like, eh, it's probably not a good idea to get a third dog while we're living with someone else, but we did. So we regularly donated to this rescue. And I don't say that to like brag or anything. When I donate, I usually, usually, occasionally I'll snap like, oh, like this is for the whatever donating. But I don't like to like, hey guys, I'm donating things. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's necessary. But we were donating to this rescue. It was like a charity car wash or something like that. While the car was getting washed, I was like, oh, well, okay, we'll go glance at the dogs. And, and Appa was supposedly, he did not like men. He was really scared of men, but he took to David so quick and David just fell in love with him. We had scheduled an appointment for our dogs to meet him. And I totally like bypassed that and took my mom like the next day without telling David and they all got along. So I brought him home for David and he has been such a good dog. He had gotten to the rescue because I think this guy's girlfriend, I, I might be a little fuzzy on it, girlfriend or something like that. And she had surrendered him because Appa and his sister had been outside dogs. They were abused and he was already breeding them at like nine months old. So I guess it was not a good scene when the guy found out he came in and was like threatening all the people at the rescue and it was just apparently like a really big mess. So he still has some issues with like men, large men in hats that we're working through and he has a lot of a separation anxiety, but we're working through it. And he's only about like 45, 47 pounds and that is insanely small for a German Shepherd. He is tiny and I think it's probably because he was really really malnourished as he was growing but I expected him to grow more when we got him because he was like eight or nine months and he never grew one bit after we got him. He just stayed tiny. He filled out more because now you know he eats a lot more. I was totally off on what Appa is. I thought he was going to be a German Shepherd Doberman with maybe a little bit of Pitbull but I was so off for the most part. I was sure he was gonna be a Doberman just because he is so small. After this, I kind of realized that he was so small probably from being malnourished, but I just thought that his frame and just kind of like how tall he is would be from the mix of like a German Shepherd and a Doberman, which I don't think is a bad guess. So Appa is 37.5% German Shepherd dog, 12.5% American Staffordshire Terrier, 12.5% Chow Chow, 12.5% Labrador Retriever, and 12.5% Siberian Husky, and then just the other 12.5% just mixed breeds. 
terrier herding sporting Asian. So I didn't even think for a second that he would be a little bit of a Siberian Husky, but I guess now looking at him you can kind of see it. And I didn't really think about him being any lab at all, but I guess now looking at him and Zoe's ears when they're like walking together, they're the exact same. And I could see the little bit of pit bull in his eyes. They just like just when he looks at you, you can just see the eyes. I feel like they're very distinct. And I also didn't even think about a chow chow for him. He is not really that fluffy. His hair kind of just like goes very like one way. He doesn't ha even have a lot of like fluff up here. So I thought that was kind of weird. But overall, I'm so glad that this test was able to at least break down so many different breeds. I thought it was really cool. You know, he's like five distinct type ones, which I thought was cool. So I think it's fun to know he's a little bit of a Siberian Husky. I just don't think I'd be able to handle a personality of a Husky. So I, uh, it's cool to know he's like 12.5% like I have a Husky almost. You get it? You get it. So next is Persephone and she's actually the only dog that I can actually like pick up and show you guys right here. So the other footage I actually have her like right here. So here's Persephone. She is a hype dog. She never calms down. I don't know why she makes these noises. She does, she makes these noises literally all day long. If she's getting like even a tiny bit of attention. And she licks incessantly. Okay, I'm gonna put her down now. So Persephone was David's dog before we met. David is my boyfriend. And I think that he got her right around the time I actually got Zoe, so she is like eight or nine years old now. He got her from, I, he says like the pound or a rescue or something like that in Denver. And the rescue or pound, I don't know, had actually found her in a ditch and they don't know how long she had been like that. So because of that, we've had to deal with some of the repercussions of her being a little bit more like territorial and kind of like thinking she's a scavenger still. And they had told David that she was a golden retriever corgi. And that's what his mom has said for the entire time I've known him is that she's a golden retriever corgi. Anytime someone asks me, I tell them she's a golden retriever corgi just because that's what everyone's told me. You can kind of see it like, if someone told you she's a golden retriever corgi, you'd be like, oh, okay. Like, you wouldn't be like, no. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of gone like that. I personally thought that she was a Cocker Spaniel corgi. And other than that, we didn't really have any other guesses. David was sure she was going to be a golden retriever corgi. But her results definitely threw us through a loop. Like, what? I feel like I've been lied to this entire time. So let's get into her results. Okay, are you ready for this? She is 12.5% Border Collie. 12.5% Chinese Crested. Like, where? 12.5% Pekingese. 12.5% Miniature Poodle. 12.5% Shetland Sheepdog and then 37.5% mixed breed, so herding, hound, sporting, and companion. I just, she's not a corgi. She's not even a corgi at all. Like, everything I know is a lie. Never would I have guessed that she's a Chinese crested. That, like, I don't, or a Pekingese. I can kind of see the miniature poodle. Like, if you were to like mix a border collie, Shetland sheepdog, miniature poodle, and then maybe like something else I could, I, I'd be like, all right. But a Pekingese and a Chinese Crested, it's so weird. So she's not a Corgi at all. She's not a Golden Retriever. <laughs> she's not any of that. So that was definitely the weirdest results that we got. Hers was definitely the hardest tell. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting to know more about my dogs. I also had gone on my second Instagram and I put up guessing posts for each one of my dogs because I thought it'd be fun to like make a game out of it. You guys could guess what breeds they are and and I also offered up that I will give a shout out in here to anyone that was able to guess 
correctly. Surprisingly, not one person even Overall, I'm pretty happy with the test itself. I got the results back pretty quickly. It was only one and a half weeks and I got the results back on like a Saturday, I think, or Sunday, I think. So it was still nice that they were doing whatever work on the weekends. The price is expensive, but I think that if you have like a, a dog that you can kind of tell is like a certain breed, it would be worth it. I know I had seen some people with the reviews saying that it just came back like like 75% mixed breed and like one other thing and at that point I probably would have been annoyed if it came back like such a huge chunk mixed breed but it is fun to even find out the other things even though two of mine did come back you know 37.5% mixed breed I think it was still worth it to see the others. I also did do the health part which is another $55 on top of the already like 75 or 80 for one of my dogs and that was some interesting information in case you don't want to go to like a vet just to see like what underlying conditions or what traits or whatever you guys know what I'm trying to say. I didn't do it for the other two I only did it for Zoe because she is the oldest and I just wanted to see if like what if something is going to happen, like what could happen. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. I was so happy to find out all of their results and I'll leave that link in the description for what I used in case you are curious. Let me know what your dog is if you have done this as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!